Get up here. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That bait is, <laughs> you can't even see it. You can't even see it. Oh, there you go. We're throwing a new Storm 360 GT. Hey, critical to your success as an angler is the ability to be able to locate fish. You got two types of presentations. You got vertical and horizontal. This is pre-spawn conditions while we're fishing today, and I like a horizontal presentation. We're gonna go over how successful this bait can be in a lot of different places, but for pre-spawn bass, if you're trying to figure out what's going on, location will always be the key to success. You're gonna see that and more today on Hook and Hunt TV. South of the Divide We're gonna take a little scenic drive and Down in a state 49 Just looking for a good time Better buy another case of beer Bite Me Sport Fishing Venice, Louisiana's premier fishing experience Tuna, redfish, snapper, sharks and more Fish in comfort from their 29-foot Triton offshore fishing machine. The adventure of your lifetime starts now. Call 877-904-TUNA or hook up with them at BiteMeSportFishingVenice.com. And why haven't you booked a trip with Bite Me Sport Fishing? Yeah, better. Hey, when we're on the road, we are officially hauled by Illinois Trailer Sales. Hitch up with them at IllinoisTrailerSales.com. That fish just hammered it, even in this cold water. Oh, look at that, look at that. That, he just hammered that, come here. Look how fat these fish are starting to get. Look, you know, that's so cool. Look at that. That's a four and a half inch bait. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing how, how deep they take this bait. Okay, let's put this fish back. I gotta tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. Okay, so when I started the show, we were talking about two types of presentations, vertical and horizontal. And your horizontal baits are your search baits. Well, that's what the Storm 360 GT is. It's a search bait. What I like to call it, it's kind of like a swim bait on steroids. You've got a head that is fit completely to the body, so it's not going to pull off. You've got that VMC Coastal hook. Very thin, but very strong and very sharp. The flat line of the body right here, where the hook eye is, where, you, or where the line tie is right here, as that water comes over, it causes that body to roll. As it's rolling, it's shaking. The key to this bait is don't jig it, don't rip it, don't burn it, throw it out and reel it in. I try to keep a little bit of a bow in my line, that way I know that I'm reeling it slow. The fish comes right up behind the bait. As he turns, you rod will load and you hook that fish. When I'm fishing in a body water where I'm not keeping anything, a lot of times I've caught so many fish on this bait that I even cut the barb off. They're gonna inhale it so deep and so well that if you take the barb off it's easier for you to get the hook out you're not going to lose any fish keep a tight line they inhale this bait this is without question to me one of the best new search bait if not the best new search bait on the market today it's easy to fish it's inexpensive and most importantly it's productive come on man did you swallow that thing holy cow that is nice yes you did yes you did oh one nice thing about that exposed hook, it's a VMC Coastal hook, which is on this 360. Uh, very sharp wire hook, and they just inhale the, the bait. One thing you're really gonna see on the 360s is, is because of the way that bait is shaped, they, they absolutely inhale that bait. And so far my hooking percentage is extremely high on this bait. The nice thing is when they strike this thing, the rod loads, you pull back, and with that exposed ultra sharp hook, you're gonna hook. Your hooking percentage is awesome. Let's see if we can go back and catch another one. What a, what a fun, fun bait to fish. There you go. That's a nicer one there. Oh, yeah. oh, they're just eating that thing. I love that. I just love that. Come here. There you go. That's a nice fish right there. Absolutely just eat that thing. <laughs> this bait is so much fun. It's so easy to fish. Next. And now it's time for your Nord Outdoor Power Tip of the Week. Hey, Doug from Nord Outdoor Power here. This time we're talking about chainsaws and especially battery powered chainsaws. A lot of you continue to watch how battery has started to come into outdoor power equipment. We've seen it happen in drills and other things that we may use around the construction site or around the house. We're seeing more and more of our outdoor power equipment going battery. Here's a brand new saw from Steel. 
it's a lot more economical than the last one that they've got. They've still got that other one that's a higher grade, but this one's got a 12 inch bar, quick adjuster, quarter inch pitch chain on that little bar. And I'll tell you what, you guys need to be taking a look at these because they're real handy when you're out in the field. And that was your Nord Outdoor Power Tip of the Week. Hook up with our outdoor power source at nordpower.com. This year I'm really excited to be working with Savior Rods, built on incredibly sensitive blanks. They all feature the Airwave Guide System. What that does, it straightens the line out as it comes off the reel so you have longer and more accurate cast. Now, with the bait casting rod, this is really cool as well. They feature the Airwave System on this rod as well. So now you not only have long and accurate cast, your casts are more effortless because of this guide system. It uses the line on your rods more efficiently. Now the really cool thing, how many of you have ever lost a rod overboard? You got a $200 reel, $150, $200 rod, and it goes overboard and you can't get it. Not so with the Savior Rod. Every Savior Rod comes with the retrieval system right here. If your rod gets kicked in or you drop it overboard, merely wait a couple seconds. There's a salt pressurized tablet inside every handle. As that dissolves, the cap on the end pops off and with 60 feet of line, braided line, comes right to the top and you can retrieve, let me rephrase that, you can save your rod. It definitely made a difference, had to slow down. And uh, I had to go something to get a bite. They went off that, they went off that swim bait. So I dropped down to a small craw and started dropping it through the grass. Man, he hammered it, man. If you haven't, if you haven't thrown, or if you haven't tried VMC hooks, uh, it, it is without question the sharpest hook and the most positive hook set that I've ever had. And uh, this fish was no, was absolutely no exception. Unbelievable hook. And uh, that, that always tells you something. Here, here's what I noticed. We started getting fish on the 360, as you obviously saw, and then they started tagging the bait. And what I mean by that is they came up and they started just barely tapping it. And then all of a sudden it went dead for like the last hour. Well, that's going to tell you something. So I started slowing down and I wanted to go with a smaller bait. We had this front come through. You had a small period where the bite was really good. And then little by little, it just started dropping off. When that happens to you any time of year, and especially now in the spring, that tells you something. Those fish have went off that feed and you're going to have to change your presentation. It doesn't mean the fish left. It means you're going to have to adapt and figure out what's going on. We're going to try this because right now it seems to be working. As hard as that fish hit, that's the hardest hit I had in an hour. Let's go back and see if we can get another one. The two rods I use today are my workhorses when it comes to bass fishing. The Savior Rod, seven foot medium heavy. A lot of things I can do with this rod. One, it's a great plastics rod. It's gonna be a really good frog rod for me. I can also pitch a jig really good with this. I really, really like this rod for fishing plastics and that's what I was doing with it today. When we first started out, I was fishing with the 7.3. This has a really unique action. This is 7.3 medium heavy and it's got a real fast tip on it. This is gonna be a rod that you're gonna see me use on a show a lot this year and I'll give you an example several examples. Swim bait rod, no question, awesome for that. Also going to be a fantastic frog rod when I'm throwing a jig deep, when I'm throwing a big plastic worm deep. This is a rod I'm going to want. I have that faster tip where I can throw that rod, excuse me, throw that lure a long distance. When you couple that with the, uh, with the guide system here, with the airwave guide system, it makes those casts even farther, easier, and you have a lot more control. These are going to be two of the rods you're going to see me use a lot on the show this year when it comes to bass fishing. As usual, we want to tell you everything we're using, how we're using it, and why we're using it. These two today definitely did the work for us. Slowing down was definitely the key. Yeah, that's definitely a nice fish there. Man, I'll tell you what. There you go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, there we go. That's nice right there. Just ate that thing. We did, we had to slow down. And uh, for whatever reason, these fish just got buried up in the grass. And uh, but now we're starting to catch some real nice ones. Uh, you know, and, and, and that's the key to, and people will ask me a lot of times is, how do you figure out what's going on? Well, sometimes you just, if you get that gut instinct that tells you, hey, things aren't working, you better switch it up. Or you just end up wasting time doing the same thing that doesn't work. By slowing down, taking a different presentation, yeah, it's definitely starting to pay off. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> awesome. Prairie Grove Shotgun Sports, Columbia, Missouri's premier shooting facility to improve your skills with the widest range of disciplines in the Midwest. Shooting fun for the entire family. The official clay crushing club of Hook and Hunt TV.
If you're looking for a superior pattern, high velocity shotgun shell, look no further than Spectre Shot. Spectre Shot uses a patented process to color coat the shot, generating improved ballistics and tighter, more uniform patterns with their waterfall load. Spectre Shot's turkey loads are nickel plated, delivering maximum knockdown power, resulting in quick, clean kills. Choose Spectre Shot and see the difference today. There you go. Oh, that's what you do. That's a way to end it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, after a major cold front sometimes, you really have to slow down. And that's what we did. You know, the nice thing about, about like that 360 swim bait is not only can you search out fish like that, but you can also go back over the area when things slow down. As I said when we started, you have vertical and horizontal presentation. And when the bite slowed down in that horizontal presentation, well, we just went into vertical and finished out the day in a nice way. Hey, thanks for joining us this week. Make sure, please, before you leave, check out all the sponsors that help bring HookandHuntTV.com to you each and every week. You can easily do that off our main page. And make sure you go to Save Your Outdoors. And if you decide to buy one of those great Save Your Rods, type in the code Hook and Hunt, and you will get a discount. Hey, we'll be on the road again next week. It's got a long fishing season ahead of us, and it's going to be a good one. God bless you. I'm Jim Crowley. We'll see you soon.